Hi everyone, my name's Ash and this is Graham. Hello. And welcome to Lenovo Tech Talks. Uh, today we're back in the studio and we brought with us uh, two of my favourite brand new ThinkPads for 2021, and that is the ThinkPad X13 and the ThinkPad X13 Yoga. Yep, like both identical 13 inch devices, this one's got the clever yoga hinge. And I think we invented this hinge about 15 years ago yeah, now. Right. But it's brilliant, you've got a notebook PC, exactly like the X13, but when you need it to be, it could be a tablet or even sort of standing it up for sharing content, presentations as well. So for me, it's, it's that real flexibility that a lot of people look for a tablet or a detachable, but ultimately 99% of the time they need a keyboard and a mouse, yeah. and it's on the rare occasion they need a tablet, but you've got everything you need in one chassis there without compromising in any area. That's right, and um, uh, there will always be people who say, look, not interested in touch, we're not gonna write on the screen, we just want a standard uh, traditional laptop, and that's where the, uh, the X13 really comes into its own because it's lightweight, it's powerful, it's compact, it's great for hybrid workers who are on the move. Um, but there is a lot of commonality. What I love about these devices now is they really are brother and sister. They both share the same new 16 by 10 ratio screen. Uh, they've both got the same larger trackpad, the same keyboard experience. Um, but also, and this is quite surprisingly, the Yoga is now the same weight. They're both coming in at just 1.2 kilograms. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you did, before you had to make that decision because the, uh, the hinge mechanism and things like that yeah, and yeah. worked really hard to get that weight down. The other thing, in terms of commonality, um, we've had sort of anti-glare panels and privacy guard, yeah. things like that, on the clamshells for some time. And it, this is a great example of how we listen to our customers because a lot of people have been saying we need that on the convertible device because with a notebook, you can turn and face a different way if there's a bit of sunlight behind you or something. But with a tablet, if you're holding it a certain way because you're working on a certain task, it's harder to get out of that glare. So this has got a brilliant anti-glare panel. I mean, the lights in this studio are really yeah. bright. And yeah, I can point that, I'm yeah, pointing that great. straight at sort of the light and the camera. And it's only on an odd angle, it just picks up some reflection. I think that's more the camera than the actual screen. And this privacy guard is another thing which is fantastic as well. It's very much like those filters you can put on a device, but they're quite expensive, they get lost, they get damaged. This is built in. I'll see if the camera can pick this up. But if I just do function key D, it's cut down that viewing angle. I mean, now it looks like the device is turned off. So, you know, as people working more agile, moving around, the ability to just cut down the viewing angle to you only see it if you're right in front of the device. Same if it's on the tablet mode as well. You know, now that's sort of anyone shoulder surfing or looking over your shoulder, not gonna happen. And just on that as well, in a way we exploit the technologies in the device. If you've got the IR camera on here, it will detect and warn you if someone is looking over your shoulder because you know, when you have a privacy filter on, users sometimes get a little bit, oh, it's okay, I can work on that data mm -hmm. because I've got a privacy filter. So this gives them that little extra sort of uh, you know, binder and keeper to help them out. That's right, and actually that is an option available on both the X13 and the Yoga and most of our other ThinkPads as well. And that's of course the strength of ThinkPad, you know, we can build to order, we can build specifically for the customer's requirements. So, um, some of the things that I mentioned, some of the things that are similar between these two devices and the number of different panels we can put in and the weight and the keyboard and so on, but there are some differences. So primarily the, the X13 uh, clamshell has a bit more flexibility in how we can build it. We can put a standard battery or a, uh, a long length of 57 watt hour battery and that gives you something like 16 hours battery life uh, of real life use. We can put 4G, we can put 5G in there, um, uh, and th th the amount of options we can have, it has better cameras, it has better speakers, it has uh, better microphones, so for a much uh, more immersive video conferencing experience. And I uh, notice the power button is now on the top on your yoga. Yeah, and it's the fingerprint read is built into it as well, yes. which I think is really yeah, neat, because so you know if, that, if you want fingerprint authentication, why boot it up, then do that? You might as well get those two steps out of the way. It just makes sense, really. Yeah, that's right. And now, coupled with a human presence detection sensor, which will sense if you're in front of the device, and if you get up and walk away, it will automatically lock itself. 
And the beauty of it is you come and sit back down again, it sees that there's someone sat there, it turns the face recognition camera back on, it sees it's you and it logs you straight back in. And that happens in about a second. So it's a really slick experience. Yeah, a few years ago, there were a few solutions around with sort of the proximity of your phone and things like yeah, that. And, yeah, yeah. Or, they'd, or the things would lock too quickly. So someone would glance away, come back, and they're having to log in manually again. So it's, it's so good the way we've got this tuned now. Right, well, uh, I'm told that we talk too much, so we should probably leave it there. Uh, so if you'd like any more information on the ThinkPad X13 or the ThinkPad X13 Yoga, uh, please just contact your account manager or come to our website. So thank you very much for your time, and please keep an eye out for more Lenovo Tech Talk videos. Thank you.